You know, I see a lot of conversations about Wi-Fi, about putting, you know, a device in every room and coverage and dead spots and all of that stuff, mesh, you name it. Sometimes you just need power. Let's take a look at this D-Link cover. Come on. We're right here on the box. This is a retail box. 6,000 square feet, power zone. Let's look at that, because there's a lot of information here. One thing that sticks out to me right now is AC3900. I, I'm gonna have to look this one up. <laughs> I know the router is AC2600, and I know the extender is AC1300, so maybe we're just doing some simple math, which is good for me. Simple math is good. So I'm all about maximum power when it comes to Wi-Fi, and I know that is the trend today. Let's get this bad boy out and see. Wow, it is huge. I mean, huge. All right, so we have the simple setup guide. For some reason, I, I really hope it is simple. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get all of this in one video, so we're gonna come back to this, right? I will follow up. This is the unboxing. Wow, look at these. Okay, the first thing that hit me was these ports here. Interesting, interesting. We have the shiny, all right, you gotta live life. You gotta take the plastic off of the sofa, everybody. You gotta live life to its fullest. Ugh. All right, so we have, I already got dirt on it. We've got all the indicators here. I lost my simple setup directions. Let's look on the back. We have ports, antennas. We have the internet port, uh, the WAN port, and the LAN ports, which is nice to have. And we're gonna have side antennas too. Is there anything here? We've got a USB 3. So that's neat, we'll see what we can do with that. More documentation. Don't know what that is. This is the D-Link Wi-Fi configuration code. Okay, their app. This is good to, man, this is what you save, you hold on to right there. So we've got antennas. And antennas. This thing will do uh, I don't know, do they call it band steering? I don't know exactly what they're calling it, but it's steering from five to 2.4 gigahertz. If this thing feels that your signal is low on f the five gigahertz bands, it will attempt to block that at the device, and that way your device, like your phone or something, will switch over to the 2.4. I think that's how that works. Here is, here's the little brother. That's nice. It's got the password, SSID and password on it. That's pretty cool. Ports. We have two Ethernet ports. Now, I know as soon as you see this little guy that goes on the outside of your network, you know, in the uh, Wi-Fi dead spots, you're thinking, is this Ethernet for backhaul, and right now, it is not. Now, I've been told by D-Link that they hope by the end of the year, they'll be able to do D or Ethernet backhaul to the main router and then wireless coverage elsewhere. That's, I mean, that's gonna be handy right there. We've got the Ethernet. Power cords. Man, I hope these are the same. They're not the same. Uh-oh. Are they labeled? They're labeled. They knew I was in town, so they labeled them so I wouldn't screw them up. That's good. We're done. So this is a cover 2600R, and this is the cover 1300E. There they are. This is what is in the package. All right, we've got the D-Link app downloaded. Connect to this. What did it say to do? 
you gonna join? Yes. Okay, sure. What's this button? Hey, look, we're in. Cover. Okay, I don't know what to hit. We will hit this button. Device password. I don't think it has a password yet. It comes blank. It does. So we're in. SSID. Internet. I'm gonna get this set up, test its, you know, I'm gonna test its power and range and see how it compares. I've tested Arlo, Luma, Eero, you name it, Synology. I've tested all these kind of things and I can't wait to see how this does. So stay tuned to this YouTube channel and the Reset Podcast. So go to resetforums.com and you can, uh, we can discuss this. See you next time.